Hey guys, um, so I'm trying to do a video of the brand new studio that it's not finished, but what it is is ready to be used. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've been working on this since November and it's now January and there's a lot of work had to be done. Um, if you're not familiar with what we've been doing, we've been moving from a rented industrial unit to a cottage that's over a hundred years old um, that was extremely dilapidated. It needed new floors. It needed the ceilings to be removed. Um, there was lowered ceilings um, that were put in 35 years ago that needed to come out. So it's a smaller location than we were in. We didn't need all that space that we had in the last place. It was huge. It was cavernous. It was like a a massive storeroom that we were trying to turn into a studio, but this is way more intimate. Um, still trying to see how we're going to fit into it. I've got nowhere to put things to store them at the moment because this room behind me here is um, what I call a dirty room at the moment. It's just got everything thrown into it stuff that's not even supposed to be here still so that's gonna have to be cleaned and emptied and shelving put into it before I can use it as a store but the reason that's so bad is because the studio the kitchenette and the bathroom have been cleaned so this is the first thing you see when you walk in welcome to the new music workshop that's the front door there um, and as you turn around You've got the first thing I did when I came in here was this uh, sound insulation on the ceiling, and then you got your your big beam light, and then I'll just turn it upside down there. Then the exact same mirror of what's there over here. Um, as you pan down, you see we have we have our backdrop as it used to be in the old unit. I had to adjust that, make it smaller because it's a smaller room, and then the teacher kit, student uh, teacher kit, student kit, and uh, over on this side, then we have. A beautiful little stove that's gonna heat the room in here obviously because it's in the room and then what we've done is we've run these pipes all the way around the room okay they go up over this door you can see it there down into the ground then they go outside out to an office that we have outside there and it's actually gonna heat two radiators out there so it's a little bit inventive but hopefully it'll work and um, the kits fit good not great as in i'd like more space i'm a little squashed but the thing about it is i can like there's there's loads of space here absolutely loads of space where i don't really need it i can face them to each other but then the student is looking at me playing backwards and it really affects their ability to pick up on what they're supposed to do. So I'd like to keep it parallel if I could. Plus, I want to keep my kit, um, the black kit, I want to keep that in an orientation where, first of all, the lights for, for videoing that are there and there, they're set up specifically for the kit to be in this position. And I want to be able to just press record and record a, a lesson without worrying about moving kits. I'd like to be able to leave the student kit there and it not to affect it. That was the plan. Now, the reason, it's it wasn't just short-sightedness, the reason that it's tighter than it, what I, I expected it to be is we, we had a slight adjustment yesterday when we were putting in the flooring. This little pathway here that we've put in originally wasn't part of the plan. What we were gonna do was make it all carpet. Obviously, there's carpet in the in the in the drum area. Carpet's way better for sound, um, and it was all going to be carpet. The whole room was going to be drums, and then the the thought of people coming in and out constantly, walking on the carpet, muddying up the carpet, making it like impossible to clean because carpet doesn't clean like like the the um, linoleum that we've put down here. So the runner or the, the yellow brick road here 
was was a, an idea that we could we can clean that easy. We can mop that. We can't mop carpet. So oh yeah, that's just the first room. Um, this is not finished, but this is going to be our little kitchenette. We um, we're working hard on, on getting it done. This is uh, the countertop, and it's gorgeous. It's like solid wood. Little fridge, full of uh, sugary drinks there and good for you. Um, just a, a tea station basically. Um, and then the most important room in the house. You know what that's for. And the most crooked straight mirror in the world. The design of the mirror makes it look crooked even though it's not. I've put a level on the top of it, it's perfectly level. But it looks perfectly crooked. Okay, there's not much else to show you in there other than the inside of the toilet bowl. You don't need to see that. It's clean, but you don't need to see it. Okay, um, oh, and of course, for the predators, you're being watched. Always watching. Okay, so um there's 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 way more to do here. Like I could do a 20 minute video on the jobs that are not done yet. But in three months and really two months, because there was a big delay at the start with contracts and everything, we've gone from a building that was dilapidated and really needed to be knocked because the floors were so rotten you'd fall through them, the ceilings were peeling down, to where we are today, which is a pretty beautiful room, pretty beautiful studio. Um, that I'm hugely proud of um, and it's like obviously I'm a drummer so I think I can do anything I keep doing this to myself I keep putting myself in situations where um, I'm like yeah sure I'll do that and then as soon as I start a job I'm like this was a terrible mistake I'm sure a lot of you guys do that as well um, I know there's a lot left to do but I'm really proud of getting this far it's a it's a milestone to get in here because you can't bring students to a dilapidated um, building. Parents will go crazy. They won't bring their kids here. Um, you can't seem like you're taking a backward step to go from an industrial unit to a shoddy setup would have been like a backward step. And for me, even though I'm moving to a place that's that's purchased. It's a it's a huge move forward for them. It's like this is worse than the last place. Let's go back to the last place. So you have to be aware of that as well. Um, I guess I, I I have nothing else to show you. Thanks for watching up until now. Um, more videos coming soon because as soon as I get set up here videoing, I will be both doing lessons and doing drummer and spotlight. I have a list of people. I think there's maybe five drummers that contacted me looking to do drummer and spotlight and i emailed them all back saying I, I received your email and i'll be in touch and that's it i haven't gotten in touch since and the reason is this place i can't record anything when my studio is a building site but um the plan is as soon as we get all our equipment moved over here get that room cleaned up turn it into a proper storeroom, bring everything over here, because I have to take everything out of the old unit. I'm not renting it anymore. I still have my stuff there. And uh, as soon as everything is here, then start setting up the recording setup, the video, get a wide angle lens from my Canon because it's really narrow. Uh, the stock lens is huge. It has to be like 25 feet away from the drums to be able to take in all the drums. Um, okay, I'm gone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.